G'day guys, welcome to the vlog. I just started this vlog right now, which is about four o'clock in the afternoon. I went thrifting for a few hours and I picked up a few hundred dollars worth of stock that I have already processed. I've already made the drafts for it and I am halfway through getting all the photos done for them and getting them up for sale on eBay. And I've just been sort of brainstorming ways to improve my eBay side of things because I'm juggling so many things. My pop had this really good story that he did tell. When he went out, he said he put his money in all these different pockets, his side pockets, back pockets, front pocket. He, he divided his money everywhere. It's just an analogy that sort of portrays the fact that it's a good idea to diversify your income and have income coming from all these different places. And considering I've been focusing on all these other ways of doing so, my eBay has sort of faded away a little bit and it's a little depressing and I've sort of felt a little bit down on myself because honestly the last two days I don't think I made one sale at all. I'm picking that up and I've just been putting in a lot of work last night and this morning and already I've got I don't know how many maybe five to six sales that I'm shipping out right now. I'm getting those out before the post office close. But today's vlog, but today's vlog, I'm just going to sort of explain how I organize everything. I'm taking it back to the days of school. School has a very good systematic system, if you want to call it, that is very guaranteed to ensure work happens. So what I've done is I've got like books and each class, each form of income is a class. So my merch by Amazon is a class, like a class in school. eBay and Etsy is a class in school. Amazon FBA is a class in school. And I have to work on it an hour each day for each class, if that makes any sense. So this is gonna help me to evenly put in enough effort to each one so then it sustains a certain amount of level of sales that are guaranteed. So then I am ultimately successful in all these varieties. And I hope that makes sense, but I'm gonna explain a bit further on how I'm doing that and also a bit more of an update on what happened to my eBay sales and how I'm trying to turn that around. But at the moment, let me show you what I sold. And honestly, it's just about improving and becoming better. And I've also noticed that my office area is an absolute pigsty. It's out of focus, but it is very messy and it's proving difficult to maneuver around here. So one of the steps I'm gonna be working on tonight and in this vlog is organizing my setup. I have t-shirts and button front shirts on the hanger they could do with some folding and putting up in the shelves and I could get some more shelving units in and around here as well as I build my eBay inventory and just allow jackets and jumpers and suits to be hung up here. So then it allows more space and it's just easier to access and easy to ship, especially the shirts and stuff. Once they sell, they're already folded, chuck them in a bag, get them out of here. But let me show you what's sold. First, we have this Garmin, what is it? The 1490T. This sold for 30 bucks and I paid $5 for this plus the nav band that I already sold for maybe 20, I can't remember. So a total of $50 from five bucks. Then I just sold these Skechers high heel shoes, 10 bucks for those they sold for. I also sold a pair of chef pants. They were five bucks. I used to work in the cooking hospitality industry. So I'm just getting rid of these ones. Also going out is a pair of nudie jeans, these ones here. These are the average Joe ones, they're not a much desired sort of version of these brand jeans. And I had these for quite a while so I won't be picking up the average Joes again, but they sold for 10 bucks. And last item I think for the day going out are these ASICS Noosa Tri 9s men's US 9 running shoes, triathlon shoes. They sold for 30 bucks. I had these listed and I sold them to someone else for 25 They said they never wanted it and they apparently mistakenly bidded for these shoes. So I listed them and they literally just sold like 10 minutes after relisting them for 30 bucks. So I managed to get the shipments out for today and I also just cleaned up my office area. Let me show you what it looks like. So much more clean, so much more space in here. It's really good because I had it like so messy and my brain was becoming messy as well. Just because the area I was in was messy and it just, it just made me feel frustrated and everything. So cleaning the office space has really helped. Let me show you what it looks like now. So here it is, there's literally nothing on the ground. It is pretty small in here so it's hard to show you like a holistic sort of view of this. But over here I have the desk area which is pretty clean. This is where I prepare the shipments. And then I've got the rack. I have taken off all of my button front 
and polos and uh, and t-shirts and stuff and I folded them up and just put them up here like this and then I've got media up the top so games books Amazon inventory and then the shoes so I've just realized like I've got so much space to store shoes so this is also going to motivate me to source more and fill up the space because once the space is filled up then it's like I feel like you know I've, I've made use of it but it's, considering it's empty it's motivating me to keep getting out there keep sourcing and keep building up my inventory so then I can ultimately make more sales everything was just a mess and it just felt like it was full in here but after cleaning it out I've got so much room now at the present moment of recording this vlog I currently have I've just been going through my numbers. I currently have only 132 items listed and I was working out my sell-through rate. Now they say it's good to have a sell-through rate of like one-third of your inventory which is 33.3% or whatever. And I did the math and I currently have 132 items listed and I want to grow that because my sell-through rate is really good I think. It's at about 46.2%. So I sell 62 items a month. Well, I sold 62 items this month since coming back from Japan, and that's just getting started back up. But the last couple of days were horrible. I didn't make not one sale in about two days, and I want to show you the graph of my eBay sales from the last couple of days. It was really bad. So as you can see, like in between here, like the 31st through to like the 1st, 2nd, and maybe even 3rd, I had no sales at all, and it's been pretty bad. As you can see over here, I had some pretty cool days, but this is disgraceful. And to be honest, this is a result of me not sourcing for any eBay items for those few days and not doing any work on eBay as well. And I guess that could be turned into 1,000 to 1.5 thousand in revenue, considering that's how much I got for my Amazon side of things to make up for this. But that's what I've mostly been just working on is, is just building up my eBay inventory and get that running up again. Because, because from experience, I've found that regardless of whatever activity you do on eBay, they generally reward you for sales. So if you list maybe 10 to 15 items a day, you're guaranteed to probably sell one item a day. That's what I've found anyway. And that sort of works out for me like that. And also... I'm planning on listing my items on Good Till Cancelled. I'm not sure if everyone can do that. It depends on the store you have, I think. But every week or so, I'm planning to go into every individual listing and just sort of briefly edit the listing, change up the title, uh, the description, the price and stuff. I want to give a shout out to Chris from 10K on the Bay. He has a YouTube channel about trying to get to 10,000 listings on eBay. I'm going to put a link down below if I remember to his channel if you want to check him out. He's got some really good content and the information he provides is very, very good stuff. It's very insightful and he's well worth the look. So I definitely suggest checking him out. He's really given me some really cool tips as well. But that being said, I want to also show you the organization system that I've created for my different sources of income. Going back to the school setup, I've got different books for each sort of subject in school, if that makes sense. So first subject is Cody Orgel, which is this YouTube channel. And then I have Merch by Amazon. And I just have information in each book, like things that I want to do for the next day. So it's all organized into different subjects or different topics. Because I find that considering I'm trying to do so many things, it's just easier for me to have it all written down on paper. Because the brain power required for me personally, I just can't cope with it. So I've got to do it like this. And then I have one for Cooking with Cody. Cooking with Cody has sort of been put on the sidelines over the last month or so. I do enjoy cooking and I want to create some kind of income or brand out of it eventually. So this is something that I'm working on, but very slowly. Hopefully down the track I'll be doing this a bit more full on once I get everything else sorted out. Then I have another book for Shopify or for Trexmo. That also reminds me, I did make a sale on my Shopify store. And I guess I kind of promised I'd show what that item was. And I think one of you guys commented that you'd love to see it. So... I'll show you that, but also the other one I have is just eBay and Etsy, just in the same book as well. And I find it just sort of helps organize all the ideas and things that need to be done and stats and, you know, numbers and stuff. I just feel it's working a lot when I organize it like that. But let me show you the other item that I sold on my Shopify store. I wouldn't really suggest, like, getting this for yourself, but, I mean, it sold for me. And I'm just experimenting. It's only early days. 
for me with uh, drop shipping and having my own store and by no means am I any expert just learning as I go so and I'm just doing these vlogs just in attempt to document everything so it's not like I'm making this to give you advice on how to sell it's just showing you like what I've done so without giving away any information of the buyer I sold this hiking bag that I brought on AliExpress and I sold it for $62.92 I made ended up making about $16 profit just on this one item which was pretty cool and that's the awesome thing about drop shipping is that you don't need basically any money up front to buy the products you just wait until the buyer pays you you use their money to pay for the item you just scoop off your profits and take it it's pretty cool how it works but yeah that's the item that i did sell on my shopify store but i think that's about it for today's vlog i'm gonna keep working away and get some other stuff done so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed it make sure you give me a thumbs up and also put a comment down below as well if you have any questions and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's one bye